Okay, this is number 51 on page 588. We're finding the determinant of this using cofactors. When I look at this, um, I can tell right now that I want to expand along this column because there's only one number in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 2. What I would do is take 2 times its minor, 0 times its minor, 0 times its minor, 0 times its minor, and I have plus 0 times its minor. Well, all of these are going to be zeros, so I don't even need to write them. So I'm going to erase them. I don't need them. All I need is the 2 times its minor. So I'm going to write that a little bit bigger because I'm going to need more room. So when I write the minor, I need to look at taking out this row in this column because I'm doing the minor for this number. So when I do that, the numbers that are left, and I think I'm going to need more room than I thought, so let's just start writing. I've got negative 2. Oops, let's change that back to black. So negative 2, 1, 6, 3, and then 1, 0, 2, 5, 3, 4, negative 1, 1, 2, 0, 0, 0. Okay, so that's what I have to do. Now, I know that I have this 2 here, and now I have to figure out, and maybe that's not the best, I'll, maybe I'll do parentheses. I need to figure out how to put this determinant in these parentheses. And I'm going to take 2 times whatever this determinant is. Um, but before I do that, we need to go back and remember our checkerboard because with this spot where it is, oops, sorry, um, where am I, I want this. With this spot, remember our checkerboard? When we do um, our little checkerboards to figure out whether it's a plus, it's plus, minus, plus, minus, and so forth, it, that's the pattern. Well, if you notice, this is in the second position, so plus, minus. So I know that I need a minus here, which is going to carry down here too. Okay, so I've got a minus. Now I need to figure out what this determinant is. And I have another column here that only has um, one number in it. So um, I'm going to expand along that, and maybe I'll just do a different color. So I'm going to do 2 times its minor. Okay, so let's do that. And then I would do 0 times its minor, 0 times its minor, 0 times its minor, but we know those are going to, you know, multiplication by 0 is 0. So I really only need 2 times its minor. However, coming over here, plus, minus, plus, minus, since I'm expanding um, along that row, I'm expanding along this column, and this is the, this is the spot that I'm working on, and that is up here, so I have to put a minus in front of that. So that's going to have a minus to make it a cofactor instead of a, just a minor. So now I can fill in the rest of my numbers. I've got 1, 6, 3, 0, 2, 5, 4, negative 1, 1. Okay, so that's what I have so far. Let's move that up. Um, I'm going to leave it. I know I could multiply the negative 2s and get a positive 4. I'm going to leave it for right now just so that we can see that whole process happening. So in here, um, I've got my negative 2. And now I need to multiply by this. Um, let's see. I think for this one, um, I'm going to look at ex going around along this row. So what that means is I need 1 times its minor, 0 times its minor, and 4 times its minor. Now thinking through our checkerboard thing, um, this would be plus, 
minus plus. So I'm going to put a plus, a minus, and a plus. All right, um, I don't need, uh, well, let me go ahead and fill in these and then I'll cross them out. So um, when I expand across that top row, the minor, oops, the minor for, let me sort of, the minor for this guy happens when I take out that row and column. So that's going to be 2, negative 1, 5, 1. Okay, so I'll get rid of that and this and that too, I guess. And then for the 0, I would take out that row and that column and I get 6, negative 1, 3, 1. Okay, let's take those guys out. And then for the 4, I would do it one more time. I would take out the row and column that the 4 are in, and I get 6, 2, 3, 5. Okay, that closes that. That closes that. Now, um, we can cross this out because 0 times anything is 0. So I've got 2. And then in parentheses, I've got my minus 2. And then in parentheses, I've got 1 times this determinant. So I'll do that in red. So I, I, I don't need to multiply the 1. 1 times anything is just what that is. So my downs minus the ups, I've got 2 minus a negative 5. So 2 minus a negative 5 is 7. So that's a 7. And then I have plus 4 times, and over here my downs are 30, my ups are 6. So 30 minus 6 is 24, so I've got a 24 here. And we should be able to get an answer here pretty quick. Um, inside my parentheses, um, when I do the 4 times 24, I get 96, so this is 96, plus 7 is 103, so I've got 2 times negative 2 times 103 equals 2 times a negative 206, so I get a negative 412. Oh shoot, I lost a negative here. This negative did not come down. That's my bad. Sorry guys, that should have been a negative, that's a negative, that's a negative, which means it's a positive 412, not a negative 412. Hope that helps.